The bloodline is here. The WWE Universe is in awe. The following contest is a six-man tag match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 766 pounds, Roman Reigns, Solo Sokoa, and Jimmy Uso, the Bloodline. A group who will do anything to maintain their grip on WWE. And that means constantly obliterating the competition. Well, tonight will be no different. You can see the look of grim determination on the faces of the bloodline. The bloodline is here on a mission. A mission to conquer and decimate. The all-time best, the franchise, John Cena. And their opponents, first, from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, the greatest oh, of all time, John Cena! Love him or hate him, you cannot deny the reaction John Cena gets from the WWE Universe. And he thrives off that reaction. It only makes him stronger, better, and more determined. I honestly don't know that there's a more determined superstar than John Cena. And he proves it every single night. And tonight should be no different. Now here's someone ready to storm into a fight. First one to enter, last one to leave. And from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. Knight made headlines when he became a breakout superstar. Now he's on the type of ascent that can't be stopped. typical WWE superstar, but he has become one of the top names around in short order. He is truly maximizing his time right now. The Apex Predator has arrived. One of the all-time greats has seen and done everything there is to do in this and business. From St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the Viking Randy Orton. The definition of a WWE superstar, and in my opinion, there is no one as gifted in this game as Orton. Now, Corey, I agree. Legendary factions, all-time tag teams. But Randy Orton is best when he does some solo work. And when he's doing said solo work, Randy Orton is one of the most sadistic individuals the WWE has ever known. The more hostile the environment, the more at home Randy Orton seems to be.
We talk a lot about who is the best, but Orton has been in the conversation for a very, very long time. Uh, how about over two decades of dominance, Corey? Undeniably on the short list for the greatest of all time. And here we go with this tag team matchup. In tonight's bout, we begin with Roman Reigns, Jimmy Uso, and Solo Sokoa. And we'll see if they're prepared for tag team action as they go head-to-head -head with John Cena, L.A. Knight, and Randy Orton. And there is a lot of animosity growing between these teams. I expect all four competitors to throw caution to the wind. Reigns turns that around. Samoan drop. Close line. What impact. A lot of bodies in this match, Corey. How exactly does one of these teams get the advantage over the other? Well, Cole, these guys need to be focusing on tag team synergy, finding the best ways to work together toward a common goal. Three men fighting as one is a surefire way to come out on top in this thing. Saxton, you and I would never have that kind of chemistry. Hey, I'd be a great teammate. I've seen you trip over your own left foot. No thank you. Oh, a headbutt right to the shore. That's using your noggin. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Looking wobbly in the corner. Such a cohesive rhythm out there. It's like playing jazz, but using your opponent as the drum. Able to sidestep it. Ooh, pinpointing the trachea. Close line. Launching. Oh my, apron sent time. Back suplex on the apron. The apron can do some serious damage. It might be worse than being hit with a steel chair. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. And Reigns unleashes the Superman punch. For the win. Two. No, he gets the shoulder up. What a match. Oh, my God. Elbow drop. The piercing. of the headbutt to get out of trouble. Oh my God, what a kick. Oh, what a headbutt. Uh-oh, so good. And we just saw some serious offense. Oh, right across the solar plexus. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Almost inhuman at this point. Super kick! Cover! Is it enough? Cena's still in it! Good lord, scarily close to three. And Cena's able to evade. Nice hip toss. Randy Orton makes the tag. He knows how to avoid contact. And now here come the punches. What a punch! He got whipped into that corner. No! Oh. 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 oh, a knee! Lights out. Constructing the knee there. Knight giving the WWE Universe the chance to really appreciate it. Incoming! Good lord! Taking flight! Just crashing down with high impact! And he gets sent back into the ring. Reaches his partner for the tag. Close line. Oh, John 
John Cena. Look at for you can't see me. Five knuckles shuffle. Wait, 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 wait. Kicks out. He still has life. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Great job refocusing to reverse that. to the gut, too. Big for Ooh, merciless-looking blow. Oh, right to the throat. And Sincoa gets warded off. Nice running crossbody. Up and over, all the way to the floor. Oh! Reigns position at the head of the table being challenged there. Yeah, that was that hustle of Cena. Cena powering up his opponent into position. Attitude adjustment. Feeling like it's over for Sokoa. Two count. What a kick out at two. I do not know how they got up from that. Operating on pure instinct and adrenaline right now. And Cena looks a little surprised. He's not used to being on this side of a kick out. Hooked up. The spinning solo by Sokoa. Tag is made. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. These combatants have stretched their limits here, and it's showing. Win or lose, they are going home tonight knowing they gave it their all. Look at this. Just unloading. Oh, oh a nasty stop to finish it off. Left by the turnbuckles. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. This non-stop blows. It's ooze time. Thinking about backing it up like his day. Here we go. Into the corner. What a hip attack. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Into the pay window. Forces the shoulder up after two. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Jimmy Uso is feeling it. He is getting that energy level back up. Uh-oh. Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing. An absolutely foolhardy decision made there. That could be very costly. Don't know if the risk was worth it. All eyes focused on this absolute war. It doesn't get more masterful than this. This was the moment to capitalize on. That should have been the end. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. There's the tag. There's the tag. Oh, tag made. Oh, right to the gut. Man, oh, man. Randy Orton with the tag. Oh, Randy Orton looking for Old Faithful.
He's tagging out. This whole building is shaking. Matches like this are what it's all about. Superstars possess the fortitude to do what we just witnessed. Very few? How about almost none? This match just went to the next level. And Reigns absolutely... RKO from out of nowhere. Devastating attack from the Viper. There's two! Ah, oh, he was almost finished. The head of the table almost went to the back of the line on that one. Roman better get it together. Horton is going to have to keep his composure moving forward. He thought he'd put him down with that one, and now he's got to think of another way. Vicious right forearm. The methodical style of Orton got a bit stolen there. Roman not backing down at all. Ooh. Able to evade. Oh, this what a headbutt. Viper getting measured. No oh, square shot, but the back elbows ends that. That will get your attention. It's been a struggle for these competitors to find an end to this. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. performance here tonight. After that win, this superstar stock is rising, and they are dancing all the way to the pay window. Guys, shut up. I got this. It's fight night! That smash mouth, in your face style, that's what the Brutes are all about. What they do in that ring is a typical Saturday night at the pub. So that should give you an idea of the kind of dudes the Brutes are. The Brutes look more than ready to compete. Corey, what's your analysis? Banger. A man who's been champion everywhere he's ever competed. The phenomenal 
AJ Styles. And guess what? He's not showing any signs of slowing down. AJ's out here to remind everyone just how phenomenal he really is. Still performing at such a high level after over 25 years of competing. Yeah, Cole, at this point, AJ's forgotten more about this business than most will ever know. Behind that, the United States Championship. The WWE United States title is on the line, a title with so much history. Well, the winner almost becomes the defender of the red, white, and blue. Well, that is, unless they choose to use the title to insult Americans, as some have. Hey, it's the title holder's freedom to do so, Saxton. Send him up here. Up in the suplex. Oh, no. Neck breaker. Climbing to the top rope. Oh, look out. And nobody's there. He avoids the damage. Vicious right forearm. Big blow could be felt throughout the arena. There are many reasons why AJ Styles has been at the top of sports entertainment for so long. How do you formulate a game plan when going up against a superstar like Styles? Well, a lot of AJ's offense starts with his lower back, and forth we go. Oh, so much pride, so much resiliency on display. You can feel the contact, and so does the WWE Universe. Oof. What impressive determination from both competitors. Keeping at each other no matter what. The willpower, the sheer guts of these two. Oh. Ooh. 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 Oh. Fist after fist, neither one relenting here. Ooh. Ouch. Ooh. That will leave you stunned. And the gear here finds its mark. arm drag. What are they doing here? Hard to grab. Here's the pin. Title on the line. One, two, New no. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. From the top. Forearm smash. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane.
reversal. Placed in the corner. Gets him in position. This is not going to end. High risk here. I don't know what more we can see in this match. From the top. High risk. Counter from the Celtic Warrior. Watch out. Ooh, right to the face. Champ's got the pin to retain. Raises the shoulder before the one count. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. And they're going shot for shot, blow for blow. Back and forth. Neither one giving up any ground. Looks like a hockey fight's just broken up. Ooh. It's Austin setting in, and neither one of them is letting up. The only word that comes to mind with them is aberration. Yeah, Corey, what started as a sporting rivalry has devolved into this all-out war we're seeing unfold here. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Big knee, and right between the shoulder blades. Strike. Oh, on the jaw. Hey, fella, you ready to go for a ride? What noise? You know that attack had to hurt because Sheamus was the one delivering it. Looking to cause as much damage as possible. Able to get out of the way. Big four. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Looking for it, and he's gets to the ropes, and that's going to cause the ref to break the hold. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. The champs ran on shaky ground now. Maybe just stay down, man. You've done enough. Oh, Shane saw it coming. Bro, kick. The champ will stay champ. Shoulders down. Near fall. Just barely able to kick out. I thought the champ had it in the back. This is how much the championship means. You can see the sweat trip out of the challengers every pull. The unmitigated power of Sheamus was not enough to put this away. The Celtic Warrior is going to have to hit even harder to end this. Into the DDT. You've got to wonder how much has been taken out of these superstars thus far. And is there anything left? Here we go! Slingshot sent on, yes! That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. And he slides him back to the mat. Styles with a head of steam toward the top. Blast off! Look at the height! The champ is down. Title change. I can feel it. Three. No. Obviously still has some fight left. Able to prevent Styles' attack. Oh, man. So close line. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. High risk area up there. Oh, look at this, up to the top rope. This is gonna be nasty, way above the ring. That's oh, white noise. Looking for the victory. Two, he kicks out at two. What do you have to do to put this guy away? And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Nicely done, snap suplex so quick. Oh, an overhand punch. Stomp to the knee. 
Smart strategy, attack the knee. Oh, counters right into the breadbasket. Ducking out of trouble. Oh, drag. Very nice. And Zagiri finds its mark. He did not want to be caught up in that submission any longer. Pulling him in for the ball breaker. Right to the lower back. And Sheamus can't seem to get out of harm's way. Yeah, Sheamus is getting beaten down. Style. There it is. Spiral tap. The title might change hands. That's good. Let's take another look at these guys in action. into the tides with this championship match. Honestly, Michael, there is no way I can think to describe this other than absolute goosebumps. Then imagine how the... Here comes a reckoning. The Archer of Infamy, ready to pass judgment. The following contest is the Elimination Chamber match. The rules of the match are as follows. Four participants will be locked away in their respective pods. Two superstars will start the match in the ring. The participants will be released into the match in random order. Eliminations can take place at any time during the match. The last superstar remaining in the chamber will be declared our Elimination Chamber winner, making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from New York City, weighing in at 249 pounds. One half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest. I can tell you that none of these competitors are happy to be in the chamber but they all want to be here because the winner will be remembered forever. The Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre has arrived, and a fight is about to start. We have learned that wherever McIntyre goes, brutality follows. Right now, it is McIntyre who is leading the WWE Universe into battle. I've been looking forward to this match for a while, mostly because I'm outside the Elimination Chamber and not in it. A man who always considers himself main event material, an uncrowned champion. He wants to show exactly why here tonight.
The nightmare has manifested itself in reality. When there's no more room in hell, the fiend will rule the earth. Well, before Bray Wyatt actually tamed this part of his psyche, we knew The Fiend was nearly unbeatable. As The Fiend, Bray Wyatt was able to defeat the likes of Finn Balor, Seth Rollins, Braun Strowman, even John Cena. It also brought him the Universal title. Yeah, but here's the scary question. What is The Fiend here for now? His connection with the WWE Universe has also grown. After taking out legends like Jerry Lawler, Mick Foley, Kurt Angle, competitors like Seth Rollins, all have fallen victim to the incapacitating mandible claw of The Fiend. Over the years, we have watched Sami Zayn transform from perennial underdog to a true main event player. He always had all the tools, but now he is really living up to his potential. The competition level has never been higher, but this guy's ready to prove he can hang. The ring general has arrived. A man who ruled NXT with an iron fist and now looks to dominate the main roster. And representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Gonta! There's more heavy metal enveloped in this ring than there is in my MP3 player. And guys, that's a lot of metal. He calls himself the standard bearer of this division and plans on proving it in a matter of moments. Finn Balor is here. And it's time for the WWE Universe to face their judgment. And representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor! You know, Finn Balor used to have such a deep connection with the WWE Universe but he's throwing all that away with this new attitude. I'd argue that was the smartest thing that Balor's ever done. Finn used to be the guy who let glory slip through his fingers, who fell just short of expectations, but now he's living up to his hype and much more.
Balor famously became the first ever Universal Champion, but had to surrender the title to injury. And he's had some measure of success since then, but he's become bitter, he's become jaded. Uh, you speak lies, Cole. Finn Balor simply realigned his values. He knows now what he must do to return to the mountaintop, and he's more prepared to do so. Here we go, and the superstars in their pods will continue to look on as we await their random insertion into this match. Getting underway, we have Gunther and Finn Balor. And the chamber is moments away from devolving into chaos with The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, Drew McIntyre, Damian Priest, and Sami Zayn. I can sense the fumes coming out of every competitor as they wait to be released, ticking tie bombs at every corner. Short arm chop. Oh, we're gonna hang on. Knife edge chop. And that prevents Gunther's offense. Bang it back with their own counter. Hits the drop kick. And Gunther is showboating right now. And for these elimination matches, victory is often hard to come by. It certainly is. You need to plan for a lot of contingencies. My advice is to pay close attention to who's left in the match and adjust your strategy accordingly. The feed finally being released from the pod. Saw that one coming. Your opponent. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Pow! What a shot! Bam! Solid contact across the chest. And he's able to counter. And the ref gets hit with an unintentional shot there. Suplex! Launched. Being carried around with ease. Oh, man. Right here. Ooh, topped with the suplex. The light is on, and it's Drew McIntyre who's unleashed from his pod into the elimination chamber. Oh my goodness, what an impactful STO. your breath. Boom! What a right gosh. Setting up. Nice suplex. Shoulders down. He gets the kick out after the one. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. 
utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment across the top rope. The ring general showing off his power. Driven down with the power bomb. It's all Gunther's for the taking. No stops the count at two. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. Oh, you can tell who's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Gunther wants to finish this. A power bomb. Bowers in deep peril here. Yeah, but that was only the first down. Still a lot of time left in the chamber. Here we go. Will it be? I think so. And a quick kick out. It's unthinkable. Someone beating the one count at this point. Places to be in the elimination chamber. Enable to counter. Suplex. Zane's looking weak in the knees. Could spell trouble. Wait a minute. Setting in. Devastating submission coming. Sammy Zane. Can Sammy Zane hang on? I think he's gonna. Whoa, whoa, look at that. And somehow he's able to work his way out of the hole. Shoulder tackle. Play ball! McIntyre might have him. Breaks the count. How? How? Flash yeah. got kiss. This is it. It's now down to the final four competitors in this elimination chamber. I think we are witnessing a career-altering moment for these superstars, guys. The spoil will only go to the victor, and I have a feeling we're close to finding out exactly who that will be. Ronnie Leg Drop. Oh, right in the mat, face first. That certainly wasn't pretty. Put into the corner now, and he's able to fight Priest off. He's positioning himself, closing in. Up high. Well, meanwhile, here's Sami Zayn. Oh, wait a second. Caught in midair. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. From the top. Oh, straight to the floor. And that might have been too erratic of a decision to take such a high risk at this junction of the match. Mm. Almost drove him through the ring. Just stretching out the arm. Oh, look at this. Look at the suplex off the top rope. Oh, oh, oh. Seeds. Take all the wind out of you. Cover. Is it enough? Kicks out. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Free setting himself up top. Start the count. Ow. But back to Drew McIntyre. Does that finish Sammy off? And he fights it off. That is just pure instinct at this point. Cover. Two. And a kick out at two. How in the world? was a well-executed attack. And responds with a counter of their own. Shows out quick. Claymore. One more time throwing the heavy artillery. Makes the cover. Oh, he kicked out. Damian Priest rising from the brink with a hell of a kick out. That was supposed to be it. No one is more shocked right now than McIntyre. We are down to just three competitors inside the elimination chamber. Airway crash net breaker. Is it enough? The cover! Two! He kicks out at two. The muscle memory's got to be taken over now. Pure instinct to kick out before three. Ooh. Everyone is on their feet in 
this building. Absolutely showing the respect for all the exertion these athletes are putting into the cover. Oh. No! Kick out at two. And you gotta think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking it. Muscles up there, a pole. Emerald Flosion. Gunther might just have it. Two. Here we go. Just two superstars left. Either one could come out on top in this Elimination Chamber match. He turns it around. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. Oh, what a boot from McIntyre. Oh, Gunther put a stop to that. Oh, gets cracked by the overhand. Turning the tables there. Short clothesline hits its mark. McIntyre looking to end this. Yeah. It's over. Gunther is done. For the win. Two count. Oh, kicks out, kicks out. Gunther is down, but not out. Such a competitive drive, refusing to let this be over. And now McIntyre is at a loss as his mind races to rethink his attack. McIntyre gets met with a response. Going counter for counter. Now can it be capitalized by? Oh, he retaliates. Oh, what a windup. And McIntyre on the receiving end of some stiff offense there. This is the toll. Take it off. Go for the win here. Oh, that gets reversed. Into the cover. One, two. Well, foot to the lever, shoulders down. Stopping the reps, count at two. Incredible resiliency. Neck breaker. The intensity of Drew McIntyre is boiling to the surface right now. Oh my god! Oh. Gunther shifts that to his favor. Setting it up. Boom! This could be it! Cover for the win! Shoulder up! Shoulder up! Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Great presence of mind by McIntyre. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. McIntyre getting set up. Time for the countdown. Fighting back by the counter. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. And another counter. This has been an epic encounter. These fans are sending the decibel level on the skin. Close line. So effective. Boom. Oh, what impact. Oh, that's going to hurt. Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline. This is standard Gunther Fair, and poor Drew just happens to be on the receiving end of it. He went right into that turnbuckle. Shot to the back by Gunther, who has more devastating plans in mind. This could end more than the match. This could end a career. Chamber. We got our money's worth for that one. Take a look.
Impressive victory from bell to bell. Hard to argue with another notch in the win column, especially one like that.